fruity, 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 fruity. Greetings, my beautiful lovelies. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you. And welcome back to another episode of Fruity Fruits. Today, we are going to be tasting the Casa Banana or Casa Banana or Stinky Melon or Musk Cucumber. <laughs> it has a lot of names and it looks like this. So this beautiful fruit grows in warm climates. It is native of South America. Many people believe it comes from Brazil, but it is eaten and grown all over South America and even in Louisiana, where a lot of Cajun folks appreciate it as well. I have never seen this before. I ordered this from a Miami fruit and I have to say it is very fragrant. It's sometimes called stinky melon, but it does not stink at all. It has a lovely floral scent, floral and fruity. When I say floral, it's not like a lilac or a rose or a peony, but a little bit. Mm, it almost smells like ramen candy. Yes, it almost smells like when you walk into a Hello Kitty shop, if you have this memory at all, and it smells like a Hello Kitty eraser. Yes, it smells like that. <laughs> And because of its beautiful scent, according to the American Indian Health and Diet Project, this was often used in churches or in linen closets to perfume clothes and linens because it smells so nice. So one of the common names is Casa Banana or Casa Banana. It is actually not a banana at all or related to a banana, although it does have kind of similar elongated shape. It's actually in the cucurbit family or the cucumber, cucurbitaceae, cucumber family. So it is more related to cucumbers. It grows on a vine and apparently there are many different uses for the fruit itself. It can be eaten raw. It can also be cooked, especially in its green young state. It can be used in stews. And in the Yucatan, native peoples use the leaves as a laxative. And in Brazil, the seeds were used to create an infusion that was used to treat fevers and intestinal worms. And in Puerto Rico, these fruits are fermented and made into a liqueur. So many uses for the casa banana. So let's see what it tastes like. If you haven't seen my other Fruity Fruits episodes, be sure to check out the playlist. I put a link down below. And now would be a good time to subscribe if you're not subscribed already, because it's free and you can always change your mind. Alrighty, let's see what's inside this fruit. It's big, isn't it? It is very large. It's as long as my arm, not including my hand. Hmm? All right, big fruit calls for a big knife. So let's see what this looks like inside. Ooh, pretty firm. I'm gonna score it all the way around. Pretty firm. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful color inside. And when you look inside, it does look like a cucumber. See that structure? Oh my gosh, it's very fragrant now that we've cut it open. A little less floral now. A little bit squashy. Mm -hmm. A little bit like a very sweet pumpkin. Hmm. This fruit can be eaten raw and it can be cooked as well. So let's cut a slice of it. All right, so I'm just gonna cut this into wedges and I'm gonna pull out the seeds. Look at that beautiful seed. It kind of reminds me of a pumpkin or a squash seed. When you go to the Chinese market, you can find roasted squash seeds that look very similar to these that are roasted and salted. Here's the wedge of fruit, sans seeds. Alrighty, my first taste of Casa Banana. Itadakimasu. Very curious. Yeah, it tastes more like a pumpkin, raw pumpkin. The middle portion feels like a kind of woody cucumber. If you've ever grown a cucumber that's gone a little bit too long on the vine, it's like that very fibrous yet juicy. The flavor is slightly sweet. 
and taste of pumpkin. Let's try another bite. Hmm. Definitely does not taste anything like a banana at all. Squash, a little bit like a cucumber. The part that's closer to the skin is denser and crunchier. And that has a much firmer, spongier texture. Like acorn squash or potato. Not that I've ever eaten raw potato, but what I imagine a raw potato would be like. It's not very sweet. It doesn't taste as floral as I was expecting it to be for how fragrant the exterior smells. The interior doesn't taste or smell that florally. Eating it raw like this makes me think much more vegetable than fruit. Although most vegetables that we think of, pumpkins, cucumbers, peppers, tomatoes, those are technically fruits from a botanical perspective, but in our minds we're like, vegetable, that's a vegetable. Um, but you know what I mean, you know, more of a savory application. And I could definitely see that for this. The texture is not very good. It's a bit fibrous and woody. Perhaps if this specimen was even riper, it would be sweeter and have more flavor. But as it is, I didn't think it was all that great. But having said that, a very stunning, striking fruit. And I was glad to have been able to try it. Alrighty, my lovelies, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please let me know down in the comments below if there are specific fruits that you'd like me to taste, try, or procure. I'm always looking for new ones. Please share this video with your friends, follow me on social media, like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodoo, take care, bye! Fruity, 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 fruity. If I do that, does it look like it's going through my head? I'm being impaled by it? Probably not.